A year ago, early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen first broke the story of the largest crib recall in U.S. history. More than two million cribs with a drop-down front side. A new government announcement will officially ban all drop-side cribs in the United States. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano is here with the story. Good morning. Good morning to you, Harry. Well, you know, drop-side cribs have always made it easier to lift babies in or out of a crib. The problem, they can also be deadly. After more than 30 fatalities and millions of recalls, a federal ban will take dropside cribs off the market for good. In a unanimous vote, the Consumer Product Safety Commission ruled that it will soon be illegal to manufacture, sell, or resell cribs with sides that drop down. In six months, all uh, retailers have to sell only the new cribs. The problem with drop side cribs? Sliding side rails can malfunction due to hardware that's poorly made and create a space big enough for an infant to become trapped and suffocate. That's what happened to 10-month-old Tyler Witt back in 1997. His mother, Michelle, found him. That's every parent's safe haven for their child. And to see the horrific sight of him strangled it was just horrifying to me. Tyler was sleeping in a crib with a drop down side when his head got stuck in a gap between the side rail and the headboard. I just immediately fell to my knees and just started screaming. Over the past 10 years, at least 32 children have died in drop side cribs, and they may be the cause of an additional 14 deaths. Hundreds more have been injured. Today, the Consumer Product Safety Commission has done the right thing. For Michelle Witt, Wednesday's long-awaited federal ban was some measure of justice. I'd like to just sincerely thank the people in this room and the women standing next to me who have made it possible so that nobody will ever have to endure the loss I've endured. Thank you. Now, if you have a crib with a drop side, make sure it hasn't been recalled. You should check your crib very carefully and stop using it if it's been recalled or if it has loose or missing parts, Harry. So just show people what happens when, they, when this malfunctions. Okay, so basically here, what can happen with these drop side cribs? As you can see, the hardware here is plastic. You've mm -hmm. got that both at the top and at the bottom. Right. And that can break. What that then creates is this gap here uh, where a baby okay. can then get trapped in that gap and suffocate. So what ends up happening, of course, parents have tried to fix these in the past. Mm -hmm. That hasn't worked sometimes, and right. children have died that way as well. And adding to the problem, Harry, yeah. is the fact that a lot of these are passed down. Uh, so that makes them even more prone to breaking because mm -hmm. you've got a lot more wear and tear on these. All right, Elaine, thank you so much. Do appreciate it.